Hello everyone, my name is NB from Class of Python. In this video, we are going to see some final coding problems that are given in InfiTQ final round. So without getting late, let's get started. Here's the problem. Number of odd subarrays. Find the number of distinct subarrays in an, in, in an array of position integers such that the sum of the subarray is an odd integer. Let's just say we have, we will be given with an array of integers. We need to find out subarrays such that each subarray is distinct and the subarrays which are uh, which whose sum is odd we are going to count how many subarrays that are that are uh, satisfying this condition like uh, we have let's say we found seven subarrays and the sum of each subarray is uh, let's say there are four uh, subarrays which satisfy the criteria which is uh, some of ele all elements inside that subarray should be odd. So two subarrays are considered different if they are either start or end at a different index. So uh, basically we need to identify subarrays which are distinct. I mean we should not repeat, uh, we should not take subarrays which are already taken. So if you are trying to use a recursion concept uh, then we may find some of uh, some uh, repetitions but we are not going to use a recursion concept but uh, we we will use a for, for loops uh, looping loops uh, in order to find out how many uh, find out the individual subarrays so here is the input format first we will be given with size of an array size of the array in first line of input as integer and array elements are uh, in the next line we will given with uh, array elements separated by space in the second line the output format should be print the number of odd sub arrays. So we need to count how many odd sub arrays are there uh, that we found in the entire list of sub arrays and we need to uh, print that count. Uh, here is an example. Uh, we given with uh, 3 which is a size of the array and 1, 2, 3 is the array. So uh, we got uh, 1 as a sub array and next uh, we got 2 as a sub array and 3 is also a sub array. And that is first step let's say and next two uh, size of subarray is two now now one two is a subarray and two three is also subarray okay that's it and we cannot take uh, one uh, one and three so these are not sub subarrays actually we are taking combinations in that case we, we only sh we should only take subarrays so we should not alter the uh, elements inside that array and we should take sub parts of the array so the final array should be sub array should be one two three that is the original sub array so we have three uh, three and uh, two and one so total we got six sub arrays right so in this sub arrays we need to find out the uh, elements uh, sum the entire sub array elements sum should be odd then we can consider it as odd sub array Let's just say one how many elements one element is there that is one and the sum is odd so this is a odd sub array and two is not a sub a odd sub array and three is a odd sub array because the sum of elements is odd and one plus two which is three and this is also a sub array whose sum is odd so it is a odd sub array and two plus three which is five this is also a odd sub array and one two three so here one plus two plus three should be six uh, six so this is not a or subarray. So finally, uh, we got uh, how many subarrays? So here, one is a sub uh, odd subarray, and three is an odd subarray, and one two is another odd subarray, and two three. Total four uh, odd subarrays. So uh, four should be the output. So if you see the answer here, four is the output. That's what. Okay. We can also uh, we can consider our own example. You can try on your own. Like uh, let's just say we have uh, five elements, and we got uh, one, two, and four, and five, and seven. Now we need to find out how many subarrays that we can form. Let's just say first individual elements, one, two, and four, and five, and seven. I'm directly writing how many odd subarrays that are present inside this uh, all individual subarrays. So we have three, one here, two, three, and three subarrays here. And next, uh, two uh, two element subarrays, 
वन टू टू फोर फोर फाइव एंड फाइव सेवन वी गॉट हियर हाउ मेनी सब बेरेस दिस इज वन टू एंड दिस इज नॉट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट सो टू सब बेरेस ओके नाउ अगेन थ्री एलिमेंट्स सब बेरेस वन टू फोर एंड देन टू फोर एंड फाइव and four, five and seven. So how many sub arrays? Here we got one sub array and two sub array and then we got here nine plus seven which is even, right? So two sub arrays which are odd. Now four element sub arrays, two, four, five. That is one sub array and two, four, five and seven. So uh, how many sub arrays are there actually? So one plus five. This is even, and this is also even. So there are zero sub arrays which are odd. And finally, the entire array which is also a sub array. So we got twelve, sixteen. Oh, this is an odd. So we can count this. So total, how many sub arrays are there? We have a three plus two plus two, seven plus one, eight. Sub arrays which are odd, whose sum, uh, whose sum of elements is odd. So eight number of odd sub arrays are there. Eight odd sub arrays. Now we need to uh, solve this problem. So how do how we are going to solve this problem? So first we need to find out. Uh, how I mean we need to find each and every. Uh, common. I mean, each and every combination of sub array. We need to find out all the sub arrays and make it as a list. And then we can find out each sub arrays uh, or uh, sum whether uh, the elements sum is odd or even. If it is odd, we can go. Uh, we uh, we can mark it as an odd sub array. We can increase the count variable. And if it is not, uh, we we don't increase the count variable. Let's start coding with by taking input from the user. Let's just say n is the integer to store the size of the array. Int of input, and we need to take an array, right? So array is equal to list of map int comma input dot split. By now, you should know about all these functions like what is input and split, and what is this map function and list function because uh if you don't know you are in big trouble you need to know about these functions because these are the basic functions in order to take input from the user right so you need to learn these functions if you don't know uh, uh input is a function where we take input from the user and the entire string or whatever the input is that we take as a string and then that string should be splitted based on the parameter that we give by default it is space so here the delimiter is also space right so we don't have to specify the space and we need to map each individual uh, element as integer and by using the map function and after mapping we need to convert that entire map into a list now uh, let's uh, take a count variable to store a number of uh, odd sub arrays and also we need to take a, sub a variable to store all the sub arrays so is it sub array is equals to blank array, uh, blank list and now we need to use two for loops in order to get all the sub arrays so first one is for i in range of n and this is this will give us uh, the size of the sub array like uh, one element sub array two element sub array or three element sub array okay and the second array uh, second uh, uh, for loop is uh, to get all the different sub arrays that are with the same size right so individual sub arrays like one element sub arrays all the three a uh, uh, two digits of arrays all all two like that okay now here uh, the limit is i plus 1 and let's just first print what uh, what these two for loops are doing so here arr of uh, j colon i plus 1 this should be enough and if you uh, try to execute this you will get uh, let's give the input 3 1 2 and 3 so here one is a sub array one two is also sub array two 
one two three two three three is also subarray. And if you want to know clearly about what is going on here, you can print the indices like uh, let's just say j comma i plus one. Now, if if you try to execute this, uh, if you try to execute this, uh, you will get the output. So, what are the indices that are going to work? Like see. 0 1 so from 0 to 1 that is a sub array and 0 to 2 0 to 2 is also a sub array 1 2 and 1 to 2 which is 2 0 to 3 1 2 3 like that all the indices we can form a combination using these two for loops so that's not what our, uh, what is our issue here we need to uh, add these all the sub arrays to a, uh, this major sub array list so I will remove this print and use a sub array dot append so once you replace that print statement with sub array append you'll get uh, uh, all the sub arrays into this sub array element let's just print this sub array now execute this so give input 3 1 space 2 space 3 so 1 1 2 2 1 2 3 2 3 3 this is the uh, entire uh, sub list array now if you want to add only odd sub arrays you can directly do that or you can once more write uh, a for loop to identify the sub arrays which are whose sum is odd okay uh, that is also you can do uh, i'll go with the simpler version first uh, then we can modify the code again okay uh, let's just say first we i i need to uh, run a, a, a for loop for this for i n range of uh, length of sub array and let's just uh, i have added a count right so and if uh, the length whatever that is sub array of i okay whose sum we have a function called sum that will give us sum of all the elements inside that array if it is odd not equals to 0 then that should be odd right so the sum of elements inside that sub array the sum should uh, must not be divided by 2 then it is a odd sub array then we can increase the count plus equals to 1 okay now if you print count you will get all the odd sub arrays that are counted let's just execute this 3 1 2 3 now c4 is the sub arrays this is the simplest version that you can do and if you want to optimize this we can do directly here whatever that is there we only append the sub array which is we only append the sub array which we think it is odd okay let's just uh, remove oh, let's just take this and uh, we need what we need is sum right so if sum of arr j column i plus 1 whose sum is odd so we will append and we can directly print let's say uh, sub array comma uh, count length sorry, length of uh, sub array now if you execute this you will get directly 3 1 2 3 and here 1 1 2 2 3 3 is the uh, this odd sub arrays and 4 is the output this is another version which is a little bit optimized but uh, this is uh, less number of code lines and you can use uh, like uh, whatever that is uh, we, you can also use list comprehension which this entire thing will be converted into single line and you don't need at all like uh, we need we don't need to append the array also we just need to count right so we can just directly increase the count here and you re remove this and if you directly print count that is also another code that you can try uh, now 3 1 2 and 3 so 4 is the output that is the output that you are required and as I told you, you can also in, uh, use list comprehension to convert this entire three line or four line code to a single line. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. 
And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.